To the doctor's office for a checkup, you may notice a change. New guidelines from the American Academy of Pediatrics recommend all kids have their blood pressure measured starting at three years old. High blood pressure in children is probably a much more common problem than people realize. That's Dr. Joseph Flynn, and he tells us 3.5% of kids have high blood pressure, and those rates are going up. He blames the rising childhood obesity epidemic. In fact, the CDC reports one in five school-age kids has obesity now, prompting the need to spot high blood pressure in kids early. So a couple changes to note here. Pediatricians should now be checking blood pressure in well-child checks starting at age three. If they're not... Dr. Flynn says ask them to. If you have a family history of hypertension, tell your child's doctor because high blood pressure does run in families. And the new guidelines also simplify the reference table that doctors use to measure high blood pressure. That helps them to identify risks early. It's like many other things in terms of a child's overall health that should be checked. And uh, we want to make sure that it is getting checked and that it's getting acted on because in the past, many children who had high blood pressure it was not getting recognized or acted on. So high blood pressure is considered a silent killer because it typically doesn't cause symptoms until something happens like a heart attack or a stroke. And although those things are rare in kids, hypertension can be something that can put them at risk for heart disease later in life. Remember, high blood pressure is treatable and it's even reversible in kids through a healthy diet and exercise. Always great places to start. If you would like to see more of our healthy living segments, go to q13fox.com slash healthy living. One in seven Washingtonians rely on...